Hey guys, so have you ever done something that you like knew better but did it anyway? Well mine cost me my fingers. Now before I get into this story, uh, I first want to say some of the details might be a little cringy. And uh, if you don't want to hear a gruesome story about me literally losing most of my finger, you probably don't want to watch this video. Now, if you're still here, that means you want to hear this gruesome story. I'm not going to show any pictures because I don't want to get flagged or messed with on YouTube for inappropriate content. So I will leave those out. I want to talk about kind of just what happened, what I did wrong, what I should have done better, what I knew I should have done better. Um, and really what the results were. So here at Shepherd's Workbench, I do build a lot of custom furniture. That's really what I love to do. Uh, every once in a while though, I'll take on a project like doing a home remodel or in this case, I was building a deck. I was building a deck for a friend and um, we were building it out of the Trex composite decking stuff. And um, I was cutting a piece on the railing that had to be a mitered cut. So on a job site, I decided to take a circular saw. Not this circular saw, but one similar to it. Now, the difference between this circular saw and the one that actually cut my finger, you can see here the blade is on the left side of the motor. On the other one, the blade was on the right side of the motor. And I took my speed square, had it up on the piece of the board, and I was cutting my miter like this. But my speed square was actually on the other side. I had my hand here, cutting the miter as it went, but the speed square started to fall. So what did I do? Out of pure reaction, I reached to go grab the, the speed square and my fingers caught the blade underneath the board. I caught the blade with my middle finger, my ring finger, and part of my pinky. What happened was, is I didn't even realize what it was until I looked down. I heard the bo the blade or the circular saw skip, like, you know, and I thought, well, that was weird. And then I looked down at my hand and from about right here up on my middle finger was gone. My ring finger had a cut just about the same height, but it was almost all the way through and my pinky had a huge gash in it so i looked down saw my fingers grabbed it and was like hey i need an ambulance somebody call 911 um trying to remain calm and long story short we ended up getting to the ambulance or getting getting the ambulance getting to us which we were out in the middle of nowhere got to the hospital and they were trying to assess whether they could reattach my finger or not um, because I had eaten, I couldn't be put to sleep for the procedure, so I had to be awake for the whole thing, which was a whole nother nightmare. Um, but pretty much what they said was my middle finger could not be reattached. So I'm going to have a stump, a little nub on here. You can see, like, you can't really see it. But in my bandage, this much of my finger is gone. My ring finger, they were able to reattached and I actually have two metal pins that go from the tip of my finger down to my second knuckle and here's the thing I knew better I knew to not put my hand anywhere near that saw blade but I reacted I was also in a huge hurry trying to get this deck finished up because I was in a huge hurry I wasn't paying attention to my reactions Ultimately, it cost me one of my fingers. So here's the moral of the story. Woodworking is a great hobby. It's one I will continue to do for the rest of my life. But if not given the proper respect, the tools that you use are extremely dangerous. They should be treated with the utmost respect. They should be, you should be constantly aware of where your entire body is. And always know a speed square, a piece of wood, a whatever can always be replaced. Your fingers, not all the time. 
You could be called Digit for the rest of your life. Or Stumpy. Or Sir Nubs a lot. Or any other name my friends will come up with. But I have to live with it. Because I made a dumb decision. And I seriously got hurt. But I wanted to come and tell you guys my story. Um, and let you know that you can keep up with my story on my Instagram feed. I uh, don't want to keep putting videos up and about my finger update. Uh, so if you want to follow the story, check me out on Instagram. Um, I got my website. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel where I can continue, I'm going to continue to put uh, project videos up. Maybe a little bit while I'm recovering, but they'll be coming soon. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me with story time on Shepherd's Workbench. See you later.